after cyanobacteria appeared and proliferated, uh, a eukaryote, a single-celled organism with a nucleus, formed a symbiosis with a cyanobacterium and that led to the evolution of the algae. And there are fossils in rocks that are very old that may be algae, but we don't have any uh, 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 complementary evidence that will tell us whether or not for sure that algae existed, say, as old as 2.4, 2.5, 2.6 billion years ago. Now, algae are interesting uh, from my point of view because they make molecules called steroids. They make sterols that are essential for their membrane functioning. And a sterol uh, is essential to the life of all eukaryotes. We need uh, the sterol cholesterol. If we don't have cholesterol, well, we wouldn't exist. That molecule is entirely um, essential for the way our membranes work. It is also the source of the signaling molecules that tell us that our body uh, uh, connects different parts of our body and, and, and our bodily functions. So the steroid hormones that, that our body produces are effectively sterols. Now the interesting thing about sterols is to make one mole of cholesterol you need uh, roughly uh, uh, nine moles of molecular oxygen. You can't make a sterol without oxygen. So oxygenic photosynthesis and the biosynthesis of sterols are intimately connected. So if we can find sterols in ancient rocks, that would be an independent proxy for uh, the availability of molecular oxygen for biosynthesis and for respiration. So we've been conducting a study over many years now for the presence of steroids and other proxies for oxygenic photosynthesis in ancient sedimentary rocks.